This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Top three certifications that look great on a resume and that will make you a better adjuster. So let's think about this. Um, what are the top skills that an, a field adjuster, we'll just kind of go with the field adjuster, I think this would apply to a desk adjuster as well, but a field adjuster, what are the top three skills and like knowledge that they need to have? First of all, software, right? You can't do anything else unless you know how to write an estimate and, and use Xactimate, for example, uh, to build, to, to complete a claim file, right? Which is more than just writing estimates, it's also, you know, activity diaries, general loss reports, attaching documents to the file, invoices, and so on and so forth. It's a report, photos and photo labeling, right? Um, so number one, before anything else, I would say get an Xactimate certification. And as an Xactimate certified trainer and somebody who's taught level one and two, I haven't taught level three yet, but could be coming, um, level one is pretty comprehensive and it's um, covers, I think if, if you're pinched for time and you don't necessarily, let's just put it this way, the levels, um, you, when you take level one, it's gonna show you basically all the, all the, the main functions of Xactimate. Level two, maybe adds a few functions for, for you to, to like learn that are gonna be new to you, but it's gonna build on those other, the, the previous things that you learned in level one, right? So they build on each other. And level three really, really stacks and builds it up to like, you know, sort of a mastery level. But level one is a, is a really great start. And if all you had time to do uh, was get your level one Xactimate certification because the storm's coming or whatever, I think that that's, that's Personally, I think that, that having taught it, that level one is, is probably good enough, right? Um, you want, probably want to get some additional. I would personally would, would go for level two because you're, um, it's going to be more advanced things. There's, there's some other tools that they introduce in level two that you don't get in level one, but that, that, are, that are, you may, probably, may or may not need in level, you know, a level one or for most claims, but they're gonna give you that extra level um, of sort of knowledge and skill and like muscle memory with that. The second thing I would say, the second skill and certification that you're gonna need is gonna be uh, damage ID, right? As adjusters, especially catastrophe adjusters, we're looking at um, damage, right? Is it damaged or not damaged? What constitute damage? constitutes damage? What doesn't? Um, and I would direct you to hagueeducation.com. They have uh, the Hague Certified Inspector um, Certification, which is sort of the gold standard for like uh, roofing, right? And storm damage to roofing, recognizing that versus wear and tear, et cetera. Only thing is, is that you have to have 100 roofs inspected uh, before you can apply for that or buy that program. But they have a whole bunch of other like much cheaper, uh, shorter, little small kind of a la carte things like composition roofing, tile roofing, so on and so forth. Little mini courses that you can take um, that would be, um, that'll give you a lot of the knowledge that you need. So you've got Xactimate, so you have the software and you have um, damage ID, right? So the third one, the, the final piece I would say is that you know, you want to be able to demonstrate that you understand the claims process and how things go from the, the moment that you get the, the file handed to you to the moment you hand it back, everything in between, how you manage your time, um, what you do every day as an adjuster, how you conduct yourself, scoping houses, talking to the homeowner, dealing with contractors, um, how you use ex things like Xactimate and, you know, your, your damage ID knowledge in the, the context of an actual claim um, and multiple claims on an actual storm deployment. And for that, I'm gonna to have to suggest the fast track to deployment um, storm certification, basically. So the fast track to deployment um, certification is, teaches you, takes those skills that you learn from the software and from your damage ID, et cetera, and packages it into a process that you can use when you show up. It's sort of like having another tool in your pocket where, um, you know exactly what to do once they hand you claims. You know what to expect. You know what they're expecting, of, the, you know, the IA firms and the carriers are expecting of you and how to get your claims closed so that you can make money, right? And so that they can trust that 
to give you more claims, which is really what you want. The, the only way you're gonna make money is by is doing a volume of claims. So the three things I would say are get an Xactimate level one, the minimum, preferably level two, um, go to hagueducation.com, use coupon code ADJUSTYOURTV, by the way, to get a uh, percentage off. It's either, it might be 15% now. Got eight seconds left. And then go to adjustertv.com slash certify to learn about the fast track to deployment certification. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.